Ele é mais graça. Esse livro é o Esse nome é a foto em si dele.
how I've connected my line to bridge. If you see, I did not uh, connect this half leg bridge because I want to put small rubber there so that I can grip my waist very well. That's why I'm not making it for the half length measurement again. But I connected my lines from the bust point under bust, then I slant it to my hip, then down to the to the length of the gap. So the next thing I'll do now is to shape this side out. This is going to be like butterfly here. So what I'll do is just from my half plane, I don't give it a slant shape. Then from this part, I don't need to trim off anything. The next thing I'll don't do is to just chop my where I want my shoulder, where I want my uh, off shoulder to start but to end. So now that's going to be nine inch. You know I afforded the fabric into two. So we are chopping it from this little part to this is where I want it to end. So I will notch it out. So I'll just trim up this rough edge. I don't need to cut out the neckline. This is going to be all through now. I'll just use my bias tape to take the neck round. So I'll show you when I'm putting it. I'll show you how I'm putting it. So I'm going to, I will notch this place and I'll put it over. Then this part, I'm going to trim, I'm going to cut off all this side. So after cutting, this is what I get. So what I will do now is to place this one on the front side and cut as well. This is my uh, back piece to cut my front side. So and I notch this middle part as well. So the next thing for me to do now is I will use bias tape to take all the legs. It is not going to have any uh, Next line is here, so I'm going to use the sleeve. I did very slim So when I'm done showing, I've now taped the next side, then the sleeve as well. So I did the same for the back. I will now join and I'll join the sides together, all the sides. I'll join them together. Now I'll join my side. You can take the way I did the neck. I just, I chopped out the nine inches after uh, taping it. So I chopped out the nine inches, then I, I just stitch it down like that. So, and I, I joined all these parts, stitch everything down to the full length of the gap. So what I will do now is to turn it to the right side, then sew the lines. Now I said you should move on, you should chop the front side. So the front side I will chop out the to I want to stitch it out. Then I will show you the I cut three inches rubber and at the half length. I just measured two inches to the that side. I measured like three inches for the back side. I'm sewing it inside, not outside this time around. So I just stitch it for the floor. Then I did the same for the front side of the inches.